Let's check, let's check, let's check. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. It's nice to have you. Good evening. How are you? It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome everybody. This is English class and let's begin. We're gonna have section number two. It really works. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay. It's nice to have you one more time. How are you, everybody? Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so thank you so much for joining the class. It's nice to have you one more time. This is going to be today's class, as you may see on the screen. We're going to work with section number two. It really works. Yeah. Infinity complements. That's the one we're going to have for today's class. Class number three. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Just don't forget that tomorrow, no classes tomorrow. El Friday, sí. Okay. So I'm sorry for you. Yep. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's begin with the information for today's class. Look at this one, common health problems. Yes, we have a headache, a cough, a call, the flu, a stomachache, a backache, sore muscles, and insomnia, okay? So these are the kind of, the common health problems that we have usually, yeah, a headache, Yes, a cough, a cold, the flu, a stomachache, a backache, sore muscles, and insomnia. Usually, egg is pain. So, when we have pain in one part of the body, that's the why we call it a headache, stomachache, and a backache, right? So, question for you, Sebastiana. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, how many times have you been sick in the past year? Mm -hmm. Two times. Oh, sorry to hear about it. Okay. But now you're not sick, right? Yes? No, no. Oh, that's I'm wonderful. Sick. Thank you. Ana Isela Janes, Angel. The next one. Check the health problems you have had recently. A cold. Oh. A cold teacher. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It wasn't COVID, right? Not anymore. No COVID, right? It's just a call. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And Marvin, the, the last one is for you. Let's say when you get sick, what do you usually have? Jesus Christ. Hi, can you hear me, teacher? Nice and clear. Okay. Well, the first one is to visit the doctor. After that, to take any medicine. And only that. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yes. Going to the doctor is one of the, uh, I mean, one of the things that you should do. Very good. Okay, we're going to have this conversation. Look at this one. Let's begin with the picture. Look at the picture, please. 
and tell me, Francisco, describe the picture. What do you see? Where are they? What are they doing? Okay, the pictures, the picture, the sky is um, two person in the visit, the visit of um, um, the visit of visit of one viaje. Where where are they, Francisco? What is this what, place? What is this place? Mm -hmm. Is this this uh, school? Um, or or did our gene? It, this is the gene, right? Very good. Okay, is the gene very good? Mm -hmm. That is really, correct. Really exercise. Oh yes, exercise. We do routines, right? Uh, in this place. So we exercise when we go there. Very good, Francisco. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. So the title of this uh, conversation is It Really Works. Do you understand the title? Do you understand the title? Yes. The, uh, it really works. It really works. Mm -hmm. um, like, do you understand what is the meaning of works? It really works. Like the expression, it really works, like means that when everything is going well, that means everything is going perfect. Like the things that people do, right, uh, works. So that means the effort, I don't know, the suggestions people take, those work. Okay, so I will play the audio so you can listen and read this conversation. So listen and Unit 12. It's important to get rest. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. It really works. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your cold? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. One recommendation. This is a recommendation, a suggestion, right? What you can do at home is you listen and repeat. Listen and read. You need to speak, right? Speak. So you need to like produce. Yes, I will play the audio one more time. So if you want to do that, do it. Okay, here we go. Unit 12. It's important to get rest. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. It really works. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your cold? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. 
Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Unit 12. It's important to get rest. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. It really works. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your cold? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Okay, any question about vocabulary or expressions in this conversation? Keith, this name is difficult to pronounce, right? Keith. Um, just chop up, chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try, it really works. Any question about this? Teacher. Oh, yes. What is the pronunciation of the medicine? Oh, medicine. 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 Yeah, exactly. Medicine. Pain Con medicine. Uh, oh. No, medicine. Medicine. Medi exact. Right. Medicine. Oh, okay. Medicine. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Do me a favor and save the conversation, please. Save the conversation. Save the conversation significa tomenle captura, right? Guarde la conversation. Take a picture of the conversation. Sí, cuando diga save the conversation, es que usted la va, le va a tomar captura. Y si la puede enviar al grupo on WhatsApp, it's good. Okay, do it. Uh, voy a abrir los breakout rooms so you can practice. In the breakout rooms, yes, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Yes. Usted ingresa a los breakout rooms and practice. You listen your classmates' pronunciation. Yes, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just speak out. Practice and practice. Yes, here we go. Uh, let me see. Si su micrófono no funciona, no se una al breakout room. All right, simplemente se queda en la sala principal. Y en la sala principal voy a dejar algunos. Yes as well yes in the main room ahorita le voy a decir who are those yes entonces sala principal let me see voy a dejar a diana cristabel irma suleima jose edgardo catherine and roberto carlos you five stay here in the main room diana cristina irma suleima jose edgardo Catherine, Nicole, and Roberto Carlos. You four, you five stay here. The rest of you, please go to the breakout rooms and practice the conversation. Yes, here we go. Okay, so Ana, Francisco, Kathy, Marvin, Sebastiana, Gerardo, Andrea, Esmeralda. Yes, Ruth, please. Okay. For the ones that stay here in the main room, let's practice the conversation that we have on the screen. Yes? Okay. Remember, you need to do it twice. So let's begin with Irma and Jose. Hello, Irma. Irma? No? Okay. Uh, Roberto Carlos? Yes. Thank you. And let me see. Your partner is going to be 
José Edgardo Méndez. José Edgardo Méndez. No, I think he left. Oh, Jesus. How many do I have now? Oh, okay. I think all of them left. Let me let me check something really quick because I let them know don't join. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> they join. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me get them back. Let me get them back. Okay. Because I don't have too many. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. Sí. Sí. Ustedes tendrían que quedarse en la sala principal. Okay. Sí. Los del grupo uno siempre se quedan en la sala principal. Okay. Ay, salí. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, okay? No problem, okay? Um, yes. Entonces, como que es la primera vez. Sí, no se preocupe, right? Eso es parte del paso, right? Entonces, siempre los del grupo 1 se quedan en la sala principal, okay? Yes. So, uh, okay. let's, let's, let's practice here. Uh, I was working with Roberto Carlos and you, Irma, please. Irma, you are Mila and Keith, that is you, okay. Roberto Carlos. And then, cuando terminen, you change roles, yes? Okay, yes. Okay. Are you all right, Kate? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You should be at the gym. Tim? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not bad. It need, I need to room for an or every day. No, today, Kate, it's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you some are really... Rest. Yeah, you are right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. Uh, have you take anything for your call? Well, yeah, I am happy to take anything for your call. No, I haven't. What shall I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop up some garlic and bowl in for a few minutes. The uh, lemon and honey tree, it, it really works. Yep, that sounds awful. Comienzo. Are you a red cake? Irma? Please. Not really. I not really don't feel so well. I have terrible terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You should be at the gym then. Yeah, uh, no bad. I need to roam for a whole whole very day. And Every day. Not today. Kate, it's really important to get some bread. Yeah, you right. I shall be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you take anything for you call? No, I haven't. What shall I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water, sometimes it's helpful to try to drink garlic tea. Use shot, put some graphite, and boil 
it for a few minutes. Add lemon and honey. Treat it, it really works. Your sack of apple. 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 Thank you so much, Jose. Apple. Jose. Thank you, Jose. And Anna Ruth. Thank Not you. Sure. Nice to have you, Anna. Hello. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, I guys, I have problem with the connection. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about, mm -hmm. but I'm hearing you nice and clear. I hope, I hope you can participate. I participate. Yes, I participate. Oh sure, Catherine, Nicole, Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. You are Mila and Keith. That is you, Jose. Ready? Let's begin. Are you all right, Kate? Jose? Not really? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not really. I don't feel so well. I had a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Kate. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah, and have you take anything for your call? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's help, helpful to drink garlic tea, just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes, then add lemon and onion. Try it, it really works. You, the songs are full. Oh, thank you so much, the two of you, very good. Okay, I hear a few mistakes on participation. I'm sorry, on pronunciation. Yes, and pronunciation, we improve it by practicing, by repeating, by doing so. That's why I was telling you, don't be afraid to make mistakes. So you listen the way your classmates pronounce so you can correct yourself. Very good. I will play the audio so you can listen one more time and then I will hear some of you. Unit 12. It's important to get rest. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. It really works. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your cold? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Yuck. Okay. Gerardo. Hello, Gerardo. Welcome. Uh, hi, teacher. Thank you. You are Keith. Your partner is Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Hi, teacher. I'm Mila. Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, thanks to thanks to Bob. You should be at the gym then. Yeah, I know, but I, I need to run 
for an hour every day. Not today, Kate. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. Should I be in bed? Yeah, well, oh, well yeah. Um, um, have you take anything for your cold? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pay medicine, a lot of water, some things. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop, just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then a lemon and honey to eat is really good. That, that sounds awful. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Okay. Keith, Diana, Cristabel. Present. Thank you. You are Mila, Diana, and Marvin. Okay. You are Keith. Ready? Let's begin, Marvin. Yes. And Diana. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You should be at the gym then? Yeah, I know, but I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, kid. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. I haven't you thank anything for your call? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine loss of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink curly tea. Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It's really works. Yo, that sounds helpful. Thank you so much. Very good. Kathy, you are going to be Mila, Kathy, and Francisco, you are Keith. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. okay. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You should be at the gym then. Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. No, today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah. You right, I shall be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your call? No, I have. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it, it really works. So, that song awful. Thank you so much, Francisco. Kathy, everything was perfect. Great job. Fantastic. Also, Francisco, very good. Great job, Francisco. We need practice of Francisco a little bit more. Okay. So you can okay. improve pronunciation. Okay. Very good. The way you're doing it. Okay. Just okay. keep practicing, right? Yes, very good. Okay. Thank you. We're going to have Ana Isela. You are going to be Mila. Sebastiana, you are Keith. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Are you all right, Keith? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't be at the gym then. Yeah, I know, but I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Keith. It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for me? No, I haven't. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, loss of, loss of water. Some tiny helpful to drink garlic tea. You chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. 
Yeah, that sounds awful. That is right. true. That sounds awful, right? Yeah, this thing, right? This remedy, it doesn't sound very like jammy. Yeah, you see, <laughs> we have garlic tea. You need to boil it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Okay. I need to take the attendance. I'm sorry. Okay, give me some time. So when you hear your beautiful name, please say, present, oh, I'm here. Yep. Okay. Also, no se les olvide que el día de mañana no hay clases. Vamos a, a responder la clase del día de mañana, el día viernes. Yes. Así que el día de mañana, pues, no hay clases, pero sí hay clases el día viernes. So, como dice una señora por ahí, I'm sorry for you, yes, uh, forget about Friday, okay, on Friday we have classes, so, Ana, Isela, Janes, Angel, Presentation. thank you so much, good evening, Ana, Ruth, Perez, Leiva, Ana, Ruth, I think Ana, Ruth is here, but she's busy, I guess, yeah, she told me, thank you, Ana, no problem, thank you so much for being here, it's nice to have you, Ya le tomé ahí, ¿vale? Asistencia. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Thank you. Francisco Valdomar López Martínez. Here, present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Gerardo José Tepa Sánchez. I'm here. Thank you so much. Good evening. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuella. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre Escobar. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Let me check if Catherine is here. Oh, let me double check. Um, no, she isn't. Okay, let me see. No, no, she isn't. Okay, Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. I'm teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Present. Gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue. Just give me a minute. Okay. Listen, we're going to have the video about the grammar content that we have for today. So please, let's listen. And... Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive complements. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Hi. What are we doing here? We are suggesting things. When somebody gets sick with a cough, with a headache, 
with the stomach ache, sometimes we give suggestions to people. And we are going to use adjectives, important, helpful, and a good, right? Yes, adjectives like this ones. And then we are going to use the infinitive, which is to get, to drink, to take. And then we have a noun. Yes, right? Yes. So adjective plus infinitive. Yes. And here we have an idea, which is noun, and then the infinitive. Okay. In negative sentences, not comes before the infinitive. For example, with a call, it's important not to exercise too hard. So, as you may know, somehow is quite simple. Yes. We are going to use also it's, it's, it's. It's important to get some rest. It's sometimes helpful to drink carly tea. It's a good idea to make some, to take some better vitamin C. Any question about this? Any question about this? One more time, what are we doing is, this is the adjective, mire, here, and this is the infinitive, okay? So that means we're gonna have to get, to drink, to take. And these are suggestions, okay? So you are suggesting, right? When somebody has a headache, you can say, oh, it's a, a good idea to take some pain medicine. Yes, right? When someone has, I don't know, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. When somebody has a headache, right? You can say, oh, it is, you should take an aspirin. Or it's sometimes helpful to take an aspirin. We can say that. We're going to have some examples so you can figure it out how this thing works. In these examples, as you may see, we have rewrite sentences, right? Vamos a reescribir la sentence. Rewrite the sentence using the information in parentheses. A good idea. Sometimes helpful. Important. Important. Sometimes helpful. Good idea. So, for a bad headache, you should relax and close your eyes. It's a good idea to relax and close your eyes when you have a headache. Yes. So, if you notice, en el primer example, right, que tenemos on the top, pues no ocupamos el infinitive, right? No. Pero en el segundo, mire, tenemos to relax. Aquí tenemos la palabra, a good idea. A good idea. And then tenemos to relax. El infinite. Right? Ahora, usted puede decir lo que está arriba. Yes, that is good. No problem at all. Okay? Ahora, tenemos otra forma de decir, which is this one. Okay? ¿Y qué vamos a practicar aquí? Bueno, utilizar este infinitive. En el de arriba no hay infinitive, right? No infinitive in the first one here in the example. But here in the second one, yes, we have it. Okay? So, let's work with number two. Number two begins with four. What is next? What is next? Four. Marvin? What is what is the 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 problem here? Number. Oh very good. Thank you so much. For a sunburn. Okay. Coma. What is next? Vamos a ocupar the expression it's it's and then the information in parentheses okay yes what is that 
sometimes helpful. Perfect. Okay. Yes, sometimes helpful. And now sometimes helpful. the infinitive. The infinitive. Okay. Yes, what is the infinitive? Too short. Excuse. Gray. No, I'm sorry. El verbo que está arriba lo vamos a poner in infinitive. Yes, in the sentence. Oh, very good. So, para hacer un infinitive, ¿qué es lo primero que le ponemos? What's the first thing? Two. Very Two good. Songs. To. Put. Oh, very good. To put. To put. And then the complement. Some. Some. Call. Call. Tea. Tea. On it, right? Let's see. Okay. So look at this one. Yes. So we are rewriting the sentence, but here we are adding the phrase. Yes, right. This one and the verb, which is this one, put. Estamos poniendo an infinity. Yes, to put. Okay. Let's work with number three. What is in number three? For a package. For a backache, very good. Coma. It's important. It's very good, important. To take some pain medicine. To take, very good, some pain medicine. Okay. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So what are we doing, mire? To take. <laughs> este verb que está acá es este que está acá, right? Que va a la par de should. Entonces, el verb that is there, lo estamos convirtiendo en infant. Yes. Okay. For a backache, it's important to take some pain medicine. What about the number four? What is the number four? For a cough. Oh, for a cough. Very good. What a cow. It's important. Oh, very good. You it's should. It's, important. it's important. To drink. To drink. Okay, that's positive or negative? Me. That's positive. Negative. Exactly. Okay, so what is next? Very good. That. No, I'm sorry. Not. Oh, perfect. Yes. Not. Not. Next. Drink milk. Oh, very good. To drink. Drink milk. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, según the rule que nos decía en la previous picture, en la pictures anterior, se fijaron, right? Not va en medio del infinitive and the adjective. Yes. Right? So, look, who says no? It's important not to drink milk. Yeah, for a cough, it's important not to drink milk. Very good. What about the number five? For a cold. Oh, exactly, right? So we have for a cold. Yes, coma. It's so it's sometimes, it's sometimes exactly. It's sometimes helpful. Okay, helpful. Helpful. Mm -hmm. To take a hot a hot bath. To take a hot bath. Exactly. Very good. Right. Yay! Very good. Mire. You're giving suggestions, right? Oh, that's good. Very good. What about the last one? Number six. It's... Uh-huh. Point feel stress. Oh, very good. When you feel 
stress. Yes, comma. It's a good idea. Oh, perfect. It's a good idea. Uh -huh. Not to drink. Oh, perfect. A lot of coffee. Okay. A lot of coffee. So, if you are like under like a lot of circumstances, right? And you're feeling like stress, don't drink coffee. Stop drinking that. That's not helping you. It's affecting you. That's what it says here, right? I don't know. I, I, I thought that when I was just like with a lot of stress, I would tomar un cafecito, right? With coffee, so I, I can feel better. But yeah. that is... That is not good, right? It looks like me está matando. <laughs> Café con pan, todo lo rico. <laughs> exactly. But it's not. It's not the case. Mire, it's killing me, right? Instead of helping me, it's killing me. Okay. Any question about this? Any question about this? No? Everything good? Oh, okay. I'm going to move to the next next um, examples, okay? Yes? Here we go. Uh, uh, any suggestions? Okay, look at this one. The best advice for each health problems. Okay, let's begin with let me see. Okay. Uh, Oscar, tell me, Oscar. The number one is done. What about the number two? A bad call. What is the best suggestion? <laughs> oh, easy, right? Seven rest. <laughs> Sebastiana. Thank you, Sebastiana. Number, number three, a burn. Put it under cold water. Oh, perfect, right? Easy for you. Yes, right? I'm sorry. You work as, as doctors, right? And now you're here in class listening a bunch of stuff about it. You get, you get, you will get sick of it. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, but it's English. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good, right? Yeah. It's different. Oh, thank you so much. Jose Edgardo Mendez, number four, a headache. Yes. What's the best advice? Mm. What do you think? We have take vit some vitamin C, uh, take some pain medicine, mm. or take a cough drops. Mm -hmm. mm, take some vitamin C. For a headache, like if I have a headache, right? Mm. Vi vitamin C. This one is when you got COVID, right? They used to recommend, oh, just take vit vitamin mm. C, right? Oranges. That's what they told me. <laughs> they tell when I got COVID. So I'm I'm sorry that is incorrect. What is the correct option? Uh, somebody helping, please. Uh huh. Take some pain medicine. Exactly right. Yes. Right. When we have a headache, acetaminophen, right? That's the one that we usually take. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good for pain, but not for your liver. Yes, not for your liver. No para el hígado, right? It's not for your liver. Okay. <laughs> it's good for the pain, but not for the liver, right? So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Very good. Francisco, number five, Francisco. Thank you. Number five, an insect bite. Um, Apley and it eats cream. Oh, yes, right. We have an insect bite. We apply anti itch cream. Anti itch, right? So that means it's anti itch. itch. Yes. Anti itch cream. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Oh, very good. Kathy. Jordan, not those cruises. Thank you. And the last one is for you, number six. Sore mm. muscles. Como un nudo. Oh. 
It's like, uh huh, yeah. Somehow, yes. Uh huh. Sir muscles. I think it's use on ointment. Exactly right. Marihuanol. That's the way they call it, right? <laughs> yes. The one that you buy, right? A dollar. Yes, one dollar in the bus. Yeah. Um. Yes. Okay, any question about this? No questions? Everything is awesome? Oh, that's good. We're going to have another one. Today, we are going to talk about a bunch of things related to health problems, okay? So if you're sick, we're going to help you here, okay? <laughs> so suggestion is important. It's sometimes helpful. It's a good idea, okay? We're going to have questions about health problems and then write answer using the words from the box okay okay so for the first thing we are going to write questions okay yes questions so uh, let's work with the number two Tell me a question, please. Mm -hmm. All the question will begin, will begin with this one. Okay. What so should... what should you take for? Okay. And then we say. Uh, Stomachache. Okay. Stomach ache, okay. What? Yes. Why should you take for a stomach ache? Okay. What is your suggestion? Uh -huh. You should to take pectovismol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vamos a ocupar una, one of these phrases. It's important. It's sometimes helpful or is a good idea okay yes so we can it's, begin uh -huh. it's isn't it's important okay it's important to to, to, to take drink, to take pepto is more pepto i think it's like this one why i don't know I don't know. Uh, sorry, it's with E. Yes, I don't know. I think that's the name. I never tried that one. I never tried that one, right? So uh, I'm not sure about it. Okay. So this is the way we made the question, right? What should you do for a baggage? What should you take for a stomachache? So we can change the different verbs, right? And the different common health problems to talk about it. And also we can use this expression, right? It's important, it's sometimes helpful, it's a good idea. Remember, unless you are a doctor, that's why we use these phrases, right? Como no somos doctors, utilizamos estas phrases. Now, if you are a doctor, pues usted va like directly, right? Okay, like, le dan la receta. Okay, take this, take this, and take this. That's the way they tell you, right? But here, we, yes, a common people, pues we are not doctors, right? So we are suggesting. That's why you need to use these phrases at the beginning, okay? Yes, right? It's important, it's sometimes helpful, it's a good idea. What this means, probably esta medicine funcionó con usted, pero al cliente no, not right. Yeah, probably... <laughs> Right? Yes. So for eso, we use these phrases. It's important. It's sometimes helpful. It's a good idea. So we suggest. Now, if the person like take it, well, 
that's on, on his or on her. Yes, right? So uh, again, we are not doctors. We are just suggesting this information here. Okay, so don't forget that, that this is a suggestion. Okay, give me a minute, please. We're going to have this one really quick. Okay, it says, again, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to rewrite these sentences. Give advice using is important, is a good idea, or is sometimes helpful. The same thing. Here we have, the problem is we have the flu, advice, don't exercise a lot, and the negative for the flu is a good idea not to exercise a lot. For example, for a toothache, what is a toothache? What is a toothache? Exactly, very good. A toothache is like that one. That thing, okay. I don't know. We, because like men, we are like, we suffer with pain, right? We are not like, I mean, good at suffering. Okay, so for a toothache, it's important to eat, <laughs> not to eat cold foods. I don't know. Yeah, that's what we have. Very good. For number two, it says, for a sore throat, don't talk too much. Okay. So, ¿cómo nos quedaría la number? I'm going to have it, this one here. La number two. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la number? <gasps> Jesus Christ. No, that's for Friday. Okay, that's for Friday. Not for today. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo nos quedaría la number two? For a sore touch. Okay, for. Very good. For us. Oh, give me a minute. For a sore oh throat uh -huh. and we're gonna use one of the phrases uh, is is important okay it's important you told me uh-huh not not to tell too much. Okay, to talk too much. Ah, oh, look at that one, right? That's right. Yes, right. So that means you need to be quiet. So you can like, very good. For a sore throat. Oh, I'm sorry. I did a mistake here. It's important not to talk too much. What about the number three? What do we have in number three? Look at this one. What is a barn? What is a barn? Barn. Mm -hmm. Una quemadura. Exactly. Very good. Right. When we are cooking, sometimes we get one of this one. Lo primero que hacemos, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. I suck oh, at water. So, uh, what is the next one? What's, what's the phrase? Anybody? Okay, we can say it's a good idea. Mm. To put ice on it. Okay, it's... So very good. Not to put very good eyes on, on it. it. Don't forget that these ones are negative. So that means we need the word not. Not between the infinitive and also this phrase where we have the adjective, right? Yes. For a barn is a good idea not to put eyes. I thought it was ice cream, but no, it's ice. Ice, like vanilla ice. Okay. This is the way we give suggestions. Remember that we can have positive and also we can have negative suggestions, right? That means this one will have a positive effect on people. Yes, because so, so if you do, 
like the opposite is going to get worse. Okay. okay. Any question about this? Don't forget also that you have the exercise on the platform. So that means that you need to do the exercises uh, and have them ready. Okay. And if you have a question con algún exercise, me avisa, right? O escriba en el chat y con gusto uno de estas hermosas faces que usted ve en pantalla le va a contestar ahí. O si no, pues con gusto yo también le contesto. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much, people. Okay. Good night and see you on Friday. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Great job. Good night, teacher. Perfect.